hello today i will be talking how to analyze log with chronograph um chronograph uh, allows you to visualize the data stored on stored in InfluxDB. in my previous video i showed how to configure thick stack if you haven't config if you haven't uh, watched the video i would suggest you to have a look into it uh, in this uh, in this video i will show how we can uh, send events of our applications to the InfluxDB and then visualize using chronograph so to achieve this we will use a syslog there is a um, option in the telegraph or the plugin which says inputs.syslog we just have to enable it so i will show how to achieve, achieve this uh, yeah before that um, i would uh, suggest you guys to have a look into the syslog documents to just get an idea how it works uh, yeah syslog is a way uh, for uh, the network devices to send event messages to a logging server syslog only supports udp for transport so it's unreliable so here we will be using uh, our syslog which extends the syslog protocol features but also adds new features like reliable event logging protocol it listens on tcp or udp and uh, yeah there are few um, uh, documents which uh, i will share in this uh, description please go through it um, and uh, there is a plugin called im file for our syslog which has the ability to convert any standard text file into a syslog message i will be using that and um, yeah there are a few threads which discuss about the difference uh, between syslog or syslog and syslog next gen there is also a very good uh, uh, information in influxdata.com slash blog about how to stream event to influx database here in this demonstration i will use um, apache and uh, nginx and i will use um, rsys log to read this uh, logs logs and on top of that telegraph has a plugin log parser i will use that plugin to send these events to the influx database and then we will uh, uh, we will uh, use the chronograph ui to visualize the events so that's the agenda of the today's video first i will install access log then i will install uh, the apache and then i will also configure the access log to forward the messages syslog messages and then i will configure um, uh, apache and then i will set up telegraph and uh, yeah this is what i'm going to do so this is the syslog forwarding setup i'll just copy paste it if you want you can pause the video and take take note of it or i will paste this in the uh, description of the video and also the github location once i do that i restart the syslog service now since the syslog is running let me install apache m install htpd once the uh, apache is installed then i will go and uh, edit this r syslog file and so that it can access uh, the apache log i will give a tag name for this apache and then the severity uh, in the rcs log conf yeah now i'll just start the service yeah it's not running started let me get the ip address so that i can browse the website It's working now let me access the logs just to see whether we are uh, writing the logs to the access log yeah now what I will do is I will update the RSS uh, config to read the Apache logs as I mentioned earlier uh, I will be adding the conf for Apache with the tag severity yeah, here I am using info. 
info is um, the level 6 uh, in the severity level I will share all the details about the severity level level 5, 6, 7 are not required and will consume unnecessary resource but uh, here for the demonstration I am using the severity info um, yeah just keep in mind uh, that it will consume unnecessary resource if you if you use the level uh, severity level 6 or info yeah, now I'll just uh, restart these RSS log service and then I will go ahead and install Telegraph. Yeah. You can get the Telegraph from the download page of the influxdata.com for yeah. Oh, I don't have a duplicate. Uh, let me use curl to download the RPM and now I will just copy paste the local m local install yep so this should install the telegraph for me let me edit the conf file and enable okay let me Yeah, I'm already running um, the uh, influx DB on the hostname monitoring. I'll just pick the IP. Let me update the IP address. Okay. Now this is the database telegraph. Now we should also enable inputs that syslog and the server will be the localhost server is equal to tcp i'll just copy this from here yeah, save it and let's restart the telegraph service You can see there's no measurement yet for the syslog, but you should soon see a measurement for syslog, which which will be returned to the database. And now you can see we have the measurement called syslog. This is being written by the to the uh, from the node two to the monitoring host. Yeah, now if you can see this syslog is running as root user what I want to show you like now if we want to send our Apache logs to the uh, InfluxDB first we need to yeah, we already added uh, the rsync config now we'll just copy the telegraph config this is the measurement name which will be returned to the InfluxDB let's copy this and uh, add it to our configuration telegraph configuration What I noticed is when I run as a telegraph user, it is not writing any metrics to the influx DB. I think it is expecting expected the service to be running as root. So what I want to show is this. Yeah. Now if you see it's running and I I should see the metrics for uh, the Apache logs. Let me just browse a few times. It should create a metrics called Apache access log, but it's not creating then I I saw that RSS log was running as root. It uh, then it was able to uh, create metrics, but this is running as telegraph. So what I'll do is I just kill this uh, telegraph, just stop the service, and then run it as a root user. Let's copy this one. And now now you can see it's running. Uh, now let me run it in background. It's running as a root user. Let me browse the site for a few times. Okay. And now you see the measurement is not yet created. Yeah. Finally. Next, uh, now you can see this the access logs is being written to the influx DB. Yeah. Now I'll just uh, add uh, some for random URLs. 
you should see this uh, here in the access log you should see the access log in the influx yep. yeah it's being uh, written to the influx db now let's go to the uh, the chronograph uh, ui we should be able to see the logs in the ui that should be okay i remember the ip address let me open chrome this is not the one 33 yeah this is the one uh, you can see the log view uh, you can see the tag for the application name it's apache access this is what we are writing uh, using rsys log and telegraph and we are writing it to the influx db and you can see the host name which is node 2 yeah uh, this is this is th this is what i wanted to show in this video what I will also do is uh, I will also install a uh, Nginx uh, web server and uh, stream that logs to the Nginx database. We also install a uh, Nginx. Okay, now that Nginx is installed, let me add the config to the rsys log file here i will just add the config uh, to read the nginx uh, access log and error log if you want to note down please pause the video and note down or else i will just post it in the description and also the in the github i will share the links let me restart the rsys log service Uh, let me see the status of the RSS log. Yeah, the file on startup was not able to read uh, uh, Nginx because we have not started the Nginx uh, uh, server yet. Let's uh, let's uh, start the service. Before we start, we need to um, change the port because we are already running uh, Apache on 80. So let me change the port to 8080 for Nginx. restart the nginx let me see the status it's running i'll just browse it it's on port 8080 yeah it's working now what we'll do is just edit the telegraph uh, config yeah I'll just uh, restart rsys log 2 and uh, you can also see that right now in the influx db um, there is only uh, measurement called apache access log so now um, what i will do is i will create a uh, i will update the config in the telegraph for the nginx and you should see a new measurement for uh, uh, nginx so this is what which we will be adding and the measurement name will be nginx access log Uh, since I'm running it as the root user, let me kill this and uh, I will start the process again. Uh, it's running now. Let me just browse the site for a few times. Uh, I should write the access log now. Let's see, the measurement is not yet created. Yeah, now you can see nginx access log the measurement has been created and you can see the logs are being streamed to the influx db and let's see if we can get this logs in the chronograph ui we should get it and i can see this nginx access log yeah we it's getting populated to the um the influx db so this is what I wanted to show. I'll just browse some URL just to see if it's getting updated. Yeah, it's working. Yes. Yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.
please uh, do comment on the video if you like the video please subscribe share and please suggest if you see any mistakes i would like to improve myself yeah thanks for watching